the 1600s, the age of pirates. But not just any pirates, buccaneers. Sort of like this, yes, but more like this. Under the oppression and hardship of the new world, becoming a buccaneer was one of the few avenues towards freedom, adventure, and prosperity. A deadly profession with humble beginnings. The word buccaneer came from the French word boucan, which meant to smoke meat. The promise of piracy was a short life full of liberty and riches, versus a long life of poverty and toil. So it's no wonder how piracy spread from the Caribbean to the coast of Africa and beyond. Some even established pirate safe havens on the coast of Tampa Bay. By the 1800s, the buccaneers had faded into history, but their legend lives on. Tampa's Oaklawn Cemetery holds the graves of two Cuban pirates. And the bottom of Tampa Bay is rumored to hold a sunken ship with a treasure of silver. But perhaps the most legendary Tampa pirate is Captain Jose Gaspar, aka Last of the Buccaneers. This is supposedly his mummified hand. Gaspar's daring invasion of Tampa is recreated every January during the Gasparilla Pirate Festival, the biggest pirate festival in the world. Running from January to March, with races, music, art, and film festivals, it's a shindig that would probably blow the 17th century mind of any buccaneer. But while Tampa's pirate history is as celebrated as it is dubious, the spirit of the buccaneers live on. Freedom and adventure on the open sea. It's the pirate's life for me.